How's it going guys? We just got some art prints in the mail. I wanted to check them out with you. Slow skulls are in this. They're eight by eight, which means that they're a lot smaller. It must be some sort of frame or something. Slow skulls, there's eight of them and they're all flat. This is a premium uh, first of a collection print that's one of one. Slow skulls are also gonna be one of one. And it's paired, all these are paired with one of one NFTs, uh, but this has a frame attached um, in order to hang in a gallery or at home that holds it off the wall, three quarters of an inch. And we'll see, we'll check out the quality of the build and how they packaged it. And I wanted to wait and do this with you guys because I have never seen their quality yet, but I've heard really good things. So check it out. First thing I notice fragile stickers all over it. The box didn't get dented or anything. This is pretty secure pretty well. These are the slow schools. Okay. So that's actually pretty nice. They taped them down to wood. So everything's rigid. Can't get punctured. Oh, look at that. That just looks pretty cool. I can tell. It's brinkmanship. The colors look better than I expected so far. There's rhinos. All right, so here's Broski's. Super smooth. Nice rounded edges, good quality. Only one of them on the back. I'll be signing these in some way and making a standardization the reason I had it sent to me instead of to you guys directly is so I can um, do the final touches and give it an inspection. It's actually fantastic. I'm extremely pleased with the colors and the how shiny it is. There's a little bit of um, wood shavings on them from their manufacturing, probably from the, the board that was in the back.
this helps me think about how I use color and how it'll turn out printed. This is the OG. It's cool because I get to keep it. If you have a slow school, make sure I have your mailing address so I can send it to you. I'm going to put a couple final touches on these and then they'll be going out in the mail within a week or so. So yeah, those are nice. I'm happy with the quality. Um, and now let's see how the main art piece from the collection is. Let's see what we got here. So this one does not have wood, but it has extra thick, releasing the giant that's been tied down. So back here, we have some mounting hardware. The frame feels smooth. You can see some layout marks, a couple little scratches. It doesn't really matter because it's part of the process. But definitely something I look for. These are parallel, which is a good. So it's not impeccable, but it's appropriate. Let's check out the hardware. I do like that they used masking tape. How to clean, it has a bar that you screw onto the wall and then it'll sit up on this rail that's what it looks like. Oh yeah. So this way when you're putting on the wall, you screw it on, you can get a little. So you can get wood. I went with uh, anodized or whatever coated painted aluminum. So it's, I thought it would go with this black border. It has an elegant look. I do like the thought of it being completely aluminum colored on the rear. So from the side, you'll see it black. I did it during period of time that makes it pretty meaningful to me. It's a pretty good feeling having something come alive. And this is a one of one. And once I send it off, I, there's a chance I'm, I'll never see it again. And this will be one or one of metal. I also have a poster showing up that I'm going to give away to the community and some stickers of this. Um, so yeah, keep your eye out for that stuff. This is one of my favorites personally because I love perspective and I really wanted to see if I could create something that had depth and could have the eye move around it. The background is based on the Fibonacci sequence. 
if you look at my Instagram, slow.stone.steve, you'll see it laid out. And it obviously, Fibonacci sequence comes around like this. The foreground has an opposing arc and it can bring your eye around in a bit of a different way. But no matter where you go, you can come around this way, come around down here. It can bring your eye around different ways. Sort of a meditation piece to find perspective. Hunt around. Thank you for watching everyone. It's, it's a great feeling. It's unreal to be able to share something that I stared at so long with you guys and I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you.